What is going on, everybody? It is Joey of Underage Packers coming at you with final hype of week three, New Orleans Saints versus the Green Bay Packers. I know Big B, I can already feel his energy Woo! with the Jamal Williams jersey on. Of course, Let's go. Big B, how are you doing tonight? I am so hype. I cannot wait for this game. I've had one Dr. Piper already, and I'm holding off for right now just because I want to have always after the post game, you know, if we or lose, I'll either have a celebratory or a healing Dr. Pepper, but I always know I'm going to have one after the game, most likely one during the game. It just feels uh, – depends how tense I am. But, obviously, uh, we just wanted to get our final thoughts out there, final hype, as that is the name of this our, the series. So, uh, let's start it off as we are – as this video is being published, we are just about an hour away from game time. So, I, I guess – and, you know, we said this on Sunday. We are just pretty confident um, – this is the first time we've played a premier team, a top end, a very highly talked about team uh, in primetime that we are feeling really confident about. Has that changed for you, Big B, since Monday? No, I am still hype. I am still excited. Mm -hmm. um, little nervous, but I'm hype. We're going to win by 100. So Okay. Yeah, there's definitely – you're playing, like like we said, one of those premier high talk about teams. There's definitely going to be anxiety in that. There, It's not going to be an easy game like it was in weeks one or two. But I'm feeling pretty confident. I think I think every, a lot of things are in favor for the Packers. Uh, just fact, comparison, the, comparing the two older quarterbacks, one is playing way better than the other. And obviously – uh, we're, we're pretty even with wide receivers here. Obviously, the Saints got Emmanuel Sanders. But Devontae Adams, Michael Thomas out. As we're recording this, we do not know the status on the, uh, or Kenny Clark and really Devontae Adams, but not looking good for those two wide receivers or Kenny Clark. We'll see what happens there. Uh, I, uh, how are you feeling about Adams and Clark at this point? Um, Adams, I'm fine with because mm – -hmm. If I had to choose between Adams and Clark, I want I would want Clark back. Yes. And we went four and zero last year without Devonte Adams, so I think we're fine. All right. Yeah, definitely. A run game is going to be the focus for both these teams. Um, we talked about we're nervous about Alvin Kamara, but if we can hold on to that ball, we're we're ready for our number one running back Jamal Williams. We can hold on to that ball, keep that time of possession going. We should be good. I. Right now, I I really don't have any nerves. That might change after literally the first drive. Yep. But, you know, we got Aaron Rodgers, who's playing great football. We have, obviously, Alvin Kamara. That's all I can say. Alvin Kamara and Kenny Clark, all yep. I can say. But other than that, I'm feeling really confident in Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams, all of our wide receivers. Not Even without Devontae Adams, I'm feeling pretty confident. And uh, defense, obviously, run game's got to step it up. But what we saw, and we said this after week one, if we can hold on to that time of possession and dominate on offense, it doesn't even matter what they do on defense. We should be good. Yep. So that should be the game plan for Matt LaFleur, Mike Patton, Nathaniel Hackett against Sean Payton. Should be a good one. And make sure you come after the game and tomorrow for a game recap with maybe a special guest. Maybe. Who knows? Thanks for watching. Go Pack Go.